yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none of the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it If we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, sink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it Really on go, I don't know what's an off day Now we on road, came from Yo, what is good, J.I. Squad And welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions It's your boy, J.I. And I'm back at it again with another banger video for you guys As you guys can tell by the title, the thumbnail, and the fact that we are in the J.I. HQ. Today, we got some work to do to Vader. This is possibly one of the keys, one of the final keys to the puzzle of getting that low 11 second, high 10 second pass. Now, with that being said, let's just go ahead and get straight into this video. All right, you guys, so I know you guys have read the title and seen the thumbnail, so you know today we are actually going to be taking the LT2 intake manifold and stock throttle body off of the car and taking it to the port shop to get some porting done on both the throttle body and the intake manifold. Now, if you guys are new to the channel and you're not aware of my build and what all has been done to it, basically it is a Bolton car, man. It's speed engineering, inch and seven eighths long tube headers that are catless to a three inch mid pipe following the stock MPP dual mode exhaust. Then we have the LT2, obviously, but it is non ported. And we have the stock throttle body, also non ported. And then we have the Rotofab cold air intake. First things first, as you guys can probably tell, my Rotofab intake filter has definitely seen better days all of these rip like i don't even know what to call this it literally looks like it's compressing um and that's not good so shout out to my guy matt over at wild hammer motorsports man you dig what i'm saying if you need anything for your car make sure you go to wildhammermotorsports.com use promo code ji wild and save yourself some money on anything on the website whether you have a camaro or a corvette they got you covered but yeah, Matt is sending me a dry filter for the Rotofab intake. So hopefully that gets here before Friday because if you guys are unaware, the Houston Raceway Park in Houston, obviously the quarter mile drag strip is getting shut down. This is the last Fast Friday event that they are having. And then they have one final truck event on Saturday and the track is closed. Texas 2K is now going to be in Ennis, Texas. If you guys didn't already, man, make sure you go tune into some of the 2K videos that I dropped. Those videos didn't do too well, but I've seen across the platform the 2K videos aren't doing too hot. But anyways, back into today's build and what we're doing. So I got the dry filter coming in i also went ahead and swapped out the stock thermostat for the 160 degree summit racing thermostat if you guys didn't see that video make sure you go tap in but other than that man we are also on a e85 flex fuel kit sourced from wild hammer motorsports as well and we are tuned for e85 currently the car has e E83 right now. E83, E82. Actually, we can go check the P3 gauge. Also, I was mistaken. We have E81 in the car right now. But yeah, man, other than that, I have my Weld S71 drag pack for the rear on a Hoosier tire. Anyway, enough rambling, man. We're going to go ahead and get straight into this video. So yeah, man, basically it's going to be an 8mm bolt right here, an 8mm bolt right here, and then the cold air intake will come off of the throttle body, and then it's literally, I think, a total of 10 10 millimeter bolts or it could be eight it's one of the two and then the higher intake manifold will literally come off you're also going to want to disconnect your math sensor and um there is a oil line if i'm not mistaken that runs to the back of the intake manifold that we're also going to need to take off so that being said let's go ahead and get to work because we need to drop off these parts by seven o'clock so let's get to it Yeah, 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 yeah. 
coming in, yeah Flex, I just wanna win, yeah LABB who we running with, yeah 2233, I'm on 10 again, yeah State your name, big been dope on flame I just switched the lanes, damn he did it again I just flipped the pain, stripping and dipping in bass Slab on everything Swimming, you sinking away, cause I got big racks coming. I put my low racks on it. I ain't skip past losses, I had to get back off it. See the fit lab on it until they whip my coffin. Money clip, I tossed it, I heard it's big bags on big bags on big bags coming. Uh huh, coming in. Yeah, flex, I just wanna win. Yeah, LA BB, who we running with? Yeah, 2233, I'm on 10 again. Pump up the action. I'm active. If he never heard of Ben Dope, he just napping. Jackson's off the rapping. Keep it on my body, bitch. I'm broke if you ask it. Don't gotta sell him, most of y'all is broken. What's as long as it is foreign? Heard you wanna, cause the yams enormous. What's an ass? Since she isn't gorgeous. Live my life, last name of Morgan Freeman. Trying to touch a forest. Do not know when knocking on the door is. Came in, I came in, I came in. Did it like the Porsche. Coming in, yeah. Flex, I just wanna win. Alright y'all, so once you get all of those bolts uh, done, some of them will come out like these did and some of them are actually going to stay inside the manifold. You can literally just lift up and the manifold will come out. Make sure you disconnect your math sensor. You're also going to need to disconnect the harness for the throttle body and then literally this whole thing will lift up. Like as you guys can see, it's free, but we need to remove that oil line that's in the back of the manifold as well so let me go ahead and get that done and then I'll show y'all the product all right y'all so as y'all can see we got the intake manifold and the throttle body taken off of the car we also got some paper towels and the intake runners just to make sure nothing gets inside the motor while the car sits overnight without these parts on the car got all the bolts laid out right here make sure you remember where the bolts go what they go for this is for the ca engine cover this pile right here is for the lt2 intake manifold itself and then this right here these are for the throttle body itself make sure you remember these things <laughs> you know what i'm saying because if you forget and you put a bolt not where it's not supposed to go you could definitely have some issues also be sure to take out your mass airflow sensor like i did just lay everything out where you can know that nothing is going to mess them up or make you lose them and also know exactly where they go now that being said I'm going to show you guys inside the LT2 intake manifold and the throttle body so we can get a little before and after action. But we are done underneath the hood. We can go ahead and set that carbon hood down like that. And you wouldn't even know Vader's down right now. All right, you guys. So this is the inside of the intake manifold. As you guys can see, got the iPhone light flashing to show you guys what it looks like on a little before. You feel me? And then right here we have the stock throttle body, non-ported yet. So, got everything taken apart. Let's go ahead and head to the shop. Alright y'all, as y'all can see, we are a minute away. Basically pulling up to the port shop right now. I just dropped off the throttle body the throttle body and the intake manifold um i'm not sure how long this video is my boy said it's only going to take him a day to go ahead and get both of those items ported so that being said i may make this all one vlog dropping off the stuff and picking it back up and installing it on the car and then i'll make a separate vlog for you know the first drive and you know yeah i think that's what i'm gonna do so that being said man i'm gonna go ahead and cut the camera off here and i'll cut it back on when we pick up the stuff see y'all tomorrow the next day how's it going man it's louis leap the porting and uh shout out to ji productions for coming out and getting yeah. ported by me yeah. so he came and got his lt2 manifold ported as well as lt1 throttle body as y'all can see this uh, came out saucy bro hold on let me go man you focus that shit hitting too hard, bro. I gotta go name. All right, bet. In person, it looks way different. It looks way oh better. Oh God, bro, that joint looks clean, bro. Oh yeah, and this is how the manifold came out. Jeez, let me get a flashlight on there for you yeah. boys. Jeez, 
pictures. And I'm gonna put some pictures up on the screen that'll be that way it'll be more clear, but my boy went crazy, bro. The runners as well. Jeez. Bro, bro went <laughs> boy went crazy, dog. Jeez, and he put all the gaskets back on for me. Everything's literally clean, everything's clean. Even the manifold. Jeez. Once y'all come out to get ported, yeah, it's manifolds. Y'all don't gotta worry about getting it cleaned up. I do all the work. It's all included in the same price. Nothing changes. But yeah, you guys, once again, thanks to JI for coming out and getting ported by me. Hell yeah. That means a lot. Appreciate yeah. the homie, man. Appreciate the homie. So as you guys see, man, just picking up the throttle body and the intake manifold, like my boy said, man, huge shout out to my boy. I saw the work on his story and I was like, yo, this is hitting. Like, I can't wait. As y'all know, we going to the drag strip on Friday, trying to get the best time out of the car. And this is definitely going to help us get there. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and cut the camera off here. And I'll see y'all when we get back to the crib. One hour later. All right, you guys. So just got finished putting everything back together. Now we're going to go ahead and get the first startup with the ported LT2 intake manifold and the ported stock throttle body. Lights on the dash. Got that young E81. Let's check our air fuel ratio. Still idling like normal. Still idling like normal. 1.0. So we're gonna let it get up to operation temp and then check on it. Bro, I don't know if y'all can hear this, but <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, yo, what? Bro, what? Yo, like. Bro. <laughs> what the Alright y'all, so there you have it. The ported LT2 intake manifold and ported stock throttle body are now on the car. The throttle body has been ported out to a 95 millimeter throttle body. I don't know if you guys could hear it on camera, but bro, this thing definitely, it's, it's crazy to say, but it really sounds like it has a turbo on there, bro. Like, I don't know if y'all can hear it on camera, but it sounds like as if there's a turbo I don't know. I'm going to torque down the manifold when I get to the job tomorrow. Um, I don't have a torque wrench with me right now. So I'm going to go ahead and torque down the bolts to spec. And then just to make sure we don't have any leaks. And that's what I'm, that's not what I'm hearing. And it's actually supposed to sound like that. But bro, it literally sounds as if the car had a turbo. That's crazy. 
But with all that being said, you guys, that is actually going to end today's video. Huge shout out to my boy, Luis, for porting the intake manifold and the throttle body for me. If you guys have any porting needs, like he said, make sure you guys go tap in with the boy. His IG was on the screen and I'll put it on the screen right here. So make sure you guys go tap in with him. Anything you need ported, he can get it done for you. And he has a day turnaround, a one day turnaround. You guys saw in the video, I dropped off the stuff yesterday. He hit me up today in the afternoon and told me that it was ready to be picked up. Literally one day turnaround. So with all that being said, that's going to wrap it up for this one. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Turn on those post notifications. Drop a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know, do you guys think that this was the final piece to the puzzle after we get the car retuned? Do y'all think Vader has what it takes to go low 11s on Friday in the quarter mile? Y'all let me know in the comment section down below, but I'm going to go ahead and roll that outro, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.